Hey guys, it's PoxPro. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Sonic Shop weekly update for December 1st. This is going to be from December 1st until December 8th. Um, but as you can see, it's going to be a bit Brotherhood themed. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Alright, so to start, we have the shelters. Um, so they actually brought in the shelters, um, the two new sizes. So we have the Vault Atrium Shelter, which is going to be 1800 atoms. That is going to be a very big shelter. Um, and it's sort of trying to mimic what a, uh, a vault looks like. There's going to be like an overseer's room at the top that you can kind of see there. Um, then there's the Vault Lobby Shelter. And this is going to be free for Fallout First members. But it will be available for purchase for Adams at a later time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And it gives you a little preview of what this looks like. So there's like a room in the back. And then there's like an entrance section. And then like some stairs up. This one's pretty neat. I'm going to go ahead and pick this guy up. I think this is a good in-between. I don't think I'm going to use or get the Vault Atrium just because of how big it is. I don't really need to have use for such space, but definitely really cool looking. You can make like a big base out of this. Um, and then we have the Shelter Catwalk, catwalk Bundles. So if you want to make flooring like hovering above, then this is kind of how you can have the theme to match. Um, and this is 1500 atoms. It also includes a couple other things. So it includes the catwalk, it includes utility wall shelf, it includes um, some illuminated vault signs, potted trees, floors, foundations, checkered floors and foundations, purple ferns floor and um, foundations, tiles, floor and foundations, and circle fluorescent light and long fluorescent light. Um, do keep in mind, like, this is 1,500 atoms, which in my opinion is quite a lot of atoms. Um, you know, this is very vault themed, but there has been some data mines that there's going to be a lot of other themed type of shelters coming out, like a cave, for example, or like a waterfall cave, and, you know, vault things may not fit in there. So I would say, like, if you think you're going to be using the vault shelters as the only shelters, or if you think you're going to be using the vault shelters, then it may be worth, um... But otherwise, you know, watch out, just in case. The illuminated signs on their own actually looks kind of cool. Reactor Overseer as initial exit, though. Um, but yeah, so these are all of the things that are inside the bundle, except the lunch boxes. So we have the floor set, the utility walls, the fluorescent lights, the illuminated signs, and the potted trees. I'll just show you guys really quick. Um, these are all inside the bundle, but if you're interested, you can buy them individually. And this is lunch boxes. If you don't want to buy it for gold bullion, you cannot buy it for atoms. On to the next page, we have camp favorites. We have the contemporary camp bundle, the log cabin bundle. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this has been here before. Um, it's just a lot of good camp building stuff. We've got some nice curtains, some nice walls, um, flooring. That's for 1,200 atoms. Then we have the log cabin. Uh, the log cabin bundle and you can see now with the atomic shop we actually have a atom cost reduction based on what you own so i own the communal fire print 375 discount that's pretty cool and with this one we have the fire pit we have the rustic water mill we have the ice box vintage wallpaper log cabin porcelain wallpaper uh black ceramic wallpaper weathered wood wallpaper and that's for 1,125 atoms. Next up, we have the Green Thumb Bundle. And this includes um, this Deathclaw Topiary, a Daffodil Arrangement, Carnivorous Plant, Potted Tier of Succulents, uh, a Greenhouse Door, Wild Cactus, uh, Fierce Cactus, Sturdy Cactus, Photogenic Cactus, Tulip Arrangement, Large Potted Succulent, Arranged Potted Succulent, Potted Row of Succulents, Greenhouse Dome. So there's quite a bit of these. If I'm not mistaken, I thought you could buy the dome from a White Springs vendor. Interesting. Um, and also the, the door, if you finish the scoreboard and you got the greenhouse set at 99, you would also have a greenhouse door. And these are going to be what were kind of included in the bundle. So we have some contemporary housing walls. These were in the first bundle. The rustic watermill and communal fire pit were in this bundle, and then we have the carnivorous reverse plant and succulent. And these were in um, the green thumb bundle. I'll just give a quick show for these. All right, and then we have the greatest hits. We got the scabber bundle. 
And this is going to be a power armor uh, paint. It's also going to be paint or skin for the handmade rifle and the backpack. And we also have a scabber mask, a raider scabber outfit, a raider scabber flag, a raider scabber uh, flag B, <laughs> a raider scabber icon. They don't show the icon. Um, this is the survivalist bundle, which is going to be a free states paint for the 10 millimeter submachine gun, a survivalist power armor paint set, a green free states backpack, free states survivalist jetpack, survivalist paint, free states survivalist bandana, um, survivalist hat. A outfit, a survivalist flag, um, a couple flags. This is what the jetpack looks like. A camp sign, go away, free states, no entry signs, restricted area signs, unauthorized and outpost wall signs. This is what the 10 million rare SMG looks like. This is like the pit boy, the jetpack, and the bandana, some of the outfits, and the power armor, and the signage, flags. Um, and then we have the Mothman Cultist bundle. So we have a like it's kind of like a smoke machine, um, a bed, a chair, a side table, a ceiling light, desk lamp, um, a wicker torch, uh, a lot of different types of torches and statues, um, altars, and like a smoke machine. Pretty much all this stuff right here. Pretty neat. Uh, we then we have the scabber paint. Um, so these two are going to be a part of this bundle. So if you want just the power armor alone, you can for 1400 atoms. We have the survivalist paints. So same thing. If you want this, um, just the, the, the power armor alone, then you can only from a thousand. And we have a, this is a kind of a cool looking backpack, um, for 500 atoms. This is also in the bundle, but you can buy a separate Mothman furniture set. You can get the furniture, um, separate from the bundle and you can get some of the torches separate from the bundle. And we have Vaulting Leaving Soon, Revolutionary Paints for uh, the Power Armors T45, T51, T60, and X01. And then we have um, uh, we have Black Paint for the Pip-Boy, we have Secret Service Backpack. Um, then we have the Clandestine uh, Service Paint for the Goss Shotgun. And then we have um, the Red Rocket Station, we have a Bad Luck Tattoo. <laughs> Night Eyes player icon, Nuka Cap player icon, Bottle Nuka uh, player icon. So all of these are going to be in the vaulting leaving soon. I think we have about six days on them. And then in this free and special offers, we have shelter posters. So this just makes it even easier for people to get the shelter because you can build a poster that you can interact with. And then it'll give you the quest line. Uh, then we have repair quits times 40. And then we have casino wallpapers. Uh, for 250 atoms, pretty good price, 50% off. And it looks like you get one, two, three, four. You get four different wallpapers. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and go through the Fallout First tab. Right here, we have a BOS camouflage infantry hood, which kind of looks like this right here. And this is for Fallout First members only, available until. Uh, it just says available December 2020, so I'm going to go ahead and unlock this guy. And then we have the outfit that goes with it, the OS Camouflage Infantry Uniform. Um, I don't know if it actually cloaks you or if they're just saying it's hidden or you stay hidden because it's like camo. Um, and right here is the new tab for camps, so we can see that the Vault HGM Shelter is here. You can also sort bundles, and when you see your price, that means that your price is modified. This is just some changes to the shop. Makes it a bit easier to kind of uh, go through. Hmm, so I thought that we would gain access to this thing. Alright guys, so for some odd reason, I went ahead and looked it up, and the Fallout 76 recruitment bundle is available on Steam as DLC. Um... So it's not in the Atomic Shop right now, and um, I expected them to add it to the Atomic Shop as a bundle, but they might not because they don't want Fallout First members easily getting it, so they're charging another $30 as a Steam downloadable DLC, but I'm not sure, so I'm going to give it some time, and I guess I'll just update the description. Um, hopefully they just add it to the game as a bundle. I'd be really surprised if they just kept it as a standalone $30 download because that kind of defeats the purpose of the Fallout First uh, monthly atoms. If, if you're going to start releasing content as DLC on Steam versus in-game in the Atomic Shop. 
All right, guys, but that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. They currently don't have the update out on the Bethesda website, so per usual, I'll update the description as we go. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. If you have any positive or negative feedback, also let me know. That way I can improve. But otherwise, until next time.